I've got a pretty good snapper on. He's pulling some drag. Still. Uh, golly. Good fish. Good fish. Oh yeah, really nice one. Oh my God, that might be bigger. <laughs> yeah, buddy. You. A few years back, I ditched the corporate grind to pursue my passions for fishing and travel. And now, the boys from Fish Village and I are scouring the world for the ultimate fishing destinations. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. Nice. We own them now. Hello everybody and welcome to Field Trips today with Marty. It's the last day here. Rob stayed in bed asleep because he's tired. He's a little bit old. So today we're going to be fishing with this new eel from uh, Catch Fishing. It's probably like upside down now. I don't even know. Somebody's tied the jig head on upside down. I just fixed that. Hold on. Hold on, we need a retake. This was probably Steve. You, Steve. You tell me that's not gonna catch a snapper. <laughs> Come on, Steve. Phew, good morning, folks. It's bright and early, sun just came up. Clients are still asleep. They're, uh, I think they're a little worn out from two full days of just slaying the fish. But Marty and I, we got up early. We're beelining out, trying to catch this low light bite. Today <clears throat> is a half day of fishing before we head back to the mainland, before my time here in New Zealand, at least fishing wise, is over. So wasting no time this morning, jumped in the water. I'm, I'm skipping breakfast, skipping coffee. We're just gonna go. Thought I was gonna not get a fish first drop then, but we're gonna be on. We're gonna be on. <sighs> Nah, Mr. Rookie. Here comes another one though. Oh, they. We on. We off. We off. Oh, we on. We on. We on. Let's see if we can't boat some epic fish this morning before we head out. And let's see if maybe I can stick that 20 pound snapper that I've been looking for this whole trip before I gotta get out of here. Gorgeous morning, flat as could be. Phew! Let's do it. Is it big or is it small? We never know. We never know until Rob gets here. Not a bad start to the morning. <laughs> All right, so I was about eight minutes behind Marty. Just stopped to make some drops in there. Finally caught up with him and he's uh, already got a fish in the boat. Oh, right where we left him, mate. So for all you guys watching this morning, Rob's finally made his way out of bed. I'm already finished, I'm going back in. <laughs> Shout out to you, Brenda. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's really good. Good job. Good job, Marty. <laughs> the worst co-host ever. <laughs> <laughs> ah, welcome back to Rob and Motto in the morning. <laughs> the breakfast channel. <laughs> the breakfast channel. <laughs> Seven up yippas. The best way to wake up. <laughs> oh. Is motto in your cup. Oh, I just had a bite. You know what our slogan could be? You got robbed. <laughs> and you could just be like this mad sex pest that goes around like ruining all the mums. Hey. <laughs> I like it, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> the best That's way to wake, wake up. up. <laughs> it's by getting robbed. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. I'll call Discovery Channel. 
I got a guy. I, I know a guy. And fish with John John. That's how I. Oh, yeah. Oh. Good morning. Oh. Good morning. That's how you got famous? <laughs> yep. Yeah. They lived near each other. I stayed at Nick Adwa's house while I was filming with John John. Here, hold on. <laughs> this is a decent one, man. Uh, good morning, welcome back to Rob and Motto in the morning. Uh, this is my first drop, and it feels like a halfway decent fish. Or maybe I'm just not woken up yet. <laughs> Get out of my spot. Freaking pot liquors. <sighs> Golly. I'm not woken up yet. This can't be big enough for me to be struggling this bad. <laughs> Mine's right here. Oh, yeah. I get a little warm up fish. Good morning, sorry. To wake you up like this. Oh, pfft. Phew. It's probably a good, like, eight, nine pounder. Okay, let's just remain calm. Ow. Decent little snapper. I mean, right where we left him, first drop of the morning. That's smaller than mine. That's a great way to, to wake up. No, it's not. Now I know your judgment is skewed towards your fish. Good morning, America. Welcome to another ex episode of Rob Got the Biggest Fish. Not. Not. <laughs> not. <laughs> I mean, they're just so strong, like... I thought he might be bigger than that, but he's not. Yep. I'm out fishing the local. All right. Beauty. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. Nice to meet you, too. Oh. Marty's on. Drag is screaming. It's the best alarm clock. Five pounds max. Yippah! We on them. <laughs> Yippah! Good morning, Brenda! <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted a little one. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Marty's on. Marty's on a good one. It's a gorgeous sunrise, only tainted by his face. This one's heavy, bro. It looks like a good one. They just they just ate that at 30 meters and took it all the way to the bottom. And still on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Good morning from New Zealand. Yep, yep. Pump them one, pump them. <laughs> That's not how you want. <laughs> pump and wind. Pump and wind. Big pumps, Martin. <laughs> Please just swim to the top. Swim up. You know that big, because look at the head shake. It's just like swimming. That's yeah. when you know a good one. Do you see that, Rob? Do you see it? This one's going to be two and a half pounds. Marty uses a 1,000 class spinning reel so that every fish feels big. <laughs> Good one, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early for your <laughs> Marty says he's caught a lot of 20 pounders, but really he just catches 21 pounders in a row and counts it. But I don't think it's that big, because it's halfway now. If it was massive, it would do a big run down there. So it's maybe like 10 pound. Oh yeah. It's a good one. It's almost as big as mine. What do you reckon? 15? No. Hey? Yeah. It's probably 15 pound, I reckon. 15 pound at the start of the morning. Oh yeah. Solid. 
Oh no. I stopped recording at the worst time. This is Marty's secret to catch so many fish, he just uh, lets them go back in the water and then fights them up again. Yep, we're on. We're on. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get that, did you? <laughs> no, I stopped recording. Just... Oh, yeah! Oh, back to back! <laughs> oh, back. Same size fish. We're on the big ones. <laughs> <laughs> Two in a row! <laughs> That's a good one, man. Good fish. Oh, three in a row? Nearly three. Can he make it three? <laughs> good morning. Welcome back, ladies and gents, to Robin Motto in the morning. I got robbed! <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Tonight's the night. Oh, yeah. You know what's good, though? I got all that on video. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Man, graph is loaded. Oh, I see fish right below my boat. Those are like blue mau maus at the top. Yeah, whereabouts are you guys, mate? Yeah, just around to the left. Ah, uh, Roger. Yeah, we're going to probably start loading these guys on soon, so uh, I'll send them out sort of your, yourish way. Bro, there's a bunch of fish on that pin out. Woo! Good shot, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's actually hooked up. Hey, is there any way you can have someone uh, bring me my sunglasses? They're on, like, on my bunk, uh, hanging from like the chain closest to the to the outside. Yeah, roger mate. We'll send you out a croissant as well. Oh, you're a legend. Thank you. Frank! Yeah! Oh yeah! Frank's hooked up now. Marty doing a little coaching. Oh, they're both hooked up. Brothers are doubled up. Bounty hunter, this is Marty Carter. You can just uh, jam me that Frank's actually on board decent fish. Frank says his is pretty good. They both look decent. Oh yeah. You got him, Richard. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at this. Double trouble. Two Razo's brothers doubled up, both landed. <laughs> Marty said, hold up. Can I join the party? Marty party. That's sweet, man. Great job, brother. Came to the other side of the world and you're out here killing it. It's a trip I won't soon forget. I don't know about you. That's your PBA. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well done, brother. Pretty much any plastic at the moment is just getting hammered, eh? This, oh, I just dropped that one. <laughs> oh yeah, I got him from like 28 meters to the bottom. Yeah. And we go. It's not that big. <laughs> Frank's on. It's every drop, every single drop. The big question is, can you weed through the small ones to get a big one? Oh, looks like Frank did. Mine's not as big as I would like. Uh, you are not the snapper I ordered. Ow, ow, ow. Damn, that did not feel good. I hate you. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. Jerk. Man, that thing finned me good in the kneecap. Oh, cool. Hey, what is this? That's a golden snapper. Golden snapper, I've never seen that, dude. Get in the boat. Frank just caught a species I've never seen before, golden snapper. I've heard Marty talking about them and basically they school up and and the good fish will be around these things. I didn't really expect them to hit a, hit a jig. Check out the colors on this thing. Look at that. Orange, red, goldfish. pink, it is, yeah. New Zealand goldfish. <laughs> That's pretty, man. Sweet, yeah, sweet catch. Something different. Yeah, something different. Another species. You got prime time now, bro. Ah, uh, that's not the one I wanted. Oh. 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 
<laughs> no! What is my? I think I. What the? F How? Yes, we lost another one. <laughs> Bro, it like I think I just got sharked. It didn't feel that big, and then I'm like, ah, oh, it's another small one. And then my rod's on the gunnel, I can't pull it up. And then it's gone. I just got owned. Ugh. I feel like that, that fish just didn't know he was hooked. And then once he did, he was like, nah, play up. You ain't catching me. I really want to check my sop bait, but I'm gonna drop it right back down first. This is for you, Brenda. Marty's on, Marty's on. Drop team. No. no. I just dropped a big one. How big is it? That is a big fish. That is a big fish. Yeah. Oh. I knew it. <laughs> Pick that from 50 meters. This is a donkey. <laughs> Fifty meters. Yeah, Marty, I'm gonna go uh, swim by and get my sunglasses and then go um, just check those pins, see if there's kingies on them. I told myself I wouldn't cry. Okay, so I, I realized that I forgot my sunglasses this morning and my buff, so I just ran back into the bounty hunter to grab that and a breakfast croissant since we, uh, Marty and I left before breakfast was ready. But I'm also doing this because on the other side of the bounty hunter from where Marty and I have been fishing for snapper this morning are a few great pinnacles not too far out that oftentimes hold yellowtail kingfish. So I'm gonna run over there and scout those out. The clients are finally getting moving. And if there's kingfish there willing to hit the jig, then the clients can either come out and go left, fish for snapper with Marty, or they can come out and go right and get on some uh, kingfish on the, on the jig bite with me. We'll see if they're there. They're not always there at these closer pinnacles. But quite often they are, and uh, in trips past, we've got some great kingies right there, not too far from the boat. So just got out to the start of these pinnacles, looking for kingfish, but five drops of the jig, oh, did not yield a bite. Even though when I got here to the first pinnacle, there's just so much bait and off the edge of it, oh man, I saw some, some pretty good marks, but since nothing was hit the jig, I decided to drop a plastic and here we are first drop and I've got a pretty good snapper on. He's pulling some drag. Uh. Yeah, bah. Uh. Just out here kind of scouting for the client, seeing if it's worth coming over here. Uh, although it's not very far and the current is kind of bringing us right here as the tide comes in. <clears throat> yeah, this is a decent snapper here, guys. Uh. Still pulling line out. Still. Uh, golly. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. Feels definitely over like 12, 13 pounds. Uh, yeah, well, I came all the way over here looking for, oh man, there's a bunch following it up too. I can see them on the graph. 
Came over here looking for kingfish. Have not found that yet. But I have some, found some solid snapper. This is a good one here. Come on. Good little workout first thing in the morning. Get the blood pumping. Oh yeah, I see it. Good fish. Good fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, really nice one. Oh, that's 15 all day. Oh my God, that might be bigger. <laughs> yeah, buddy. You. Oh man. Not what we're looking for, but what we'll take. Goodness gracious. That's a snapper there. <laughs> hey mate, at this first pin, tons of bait, good marks on the edge of it, and uh, first drop of the plastic. Just boated maybe my new PB snapper. I mean, gotta be 16, maybe 18. Uh, tons more marks here, man. It, it looks pretty good. And I haven't even got, I've just got to the very edge of the, where it starts to come up. The other nice thing is the tide, the current's bringing you right this way. I was coming out pretty easy pedaling, going like 7K. Um, it's really easy getting around here. I am not far from the mouth of the cove. I'm right at the like, start of that area with the pinnacles. Uh, good fish in the kayak right now. Yes! Oh my God, this thing is huge. Okay, let's get focused here. I'm leaving him in the water so he's not suffering, but God darn, you guys. This is a big one. He doesn't fit in the net. <laughs> not at all. Look at this fish. Ladies and gents, it's not feeling very nice or easy right now. He's uh, feeling a bit mad. Stop, please. Ow, ow. Look at that, guys. <laughs> hey, good morning. We out here catching some beasts. First thing. Yoo! Look at that fish. Oh my gosh. First drop out here, just scouting out for the clients on the plastic. And that's a dandy right there. Yippah! Ah, oh, sick. All right, we don't need this fish, so let's get the lure out of it quick and see if uh, see if she'll go back down. Okay, lure's free. Let's see if she'll go. Oh, what a beast. What a beast. Look at this animal. Oh. She's trying to kick. Let's see if she'll go. Yeah, there she goes. Yeah, took her a second to realize she was free, but then, oh yeah, she's good. The water's so clear, I can see her like, Oh, I see her on my death finder. She's at 15 meters right now, 45 feet, and I can still see her. She's kicking good, now I can't. And now she's speeding up, heading down. Phew! Oh, that was sick. What a great last morning. Yeah, go ahead, mate. Yeah, I was just letting you know that Frank just got a big one. Sick, man. That's dope. I just released uh, maybe my new PB. Congrats, Frank. Yippa! All right, well, let's get back on that pinnacle. See if we can uh, see if we can find some more. Maybe find some kingies for the for the clients to come chase. But I don't think any of them would be upset with that fish. Hee Yep. There's a fish, but it doesn't feel very big. Not a monster at all hoping there might be some bigger ones out here out deep so I think I'm gonna head back in if we can find some some better fish in closer so far my best fish have come closer to the island so
So a lot of times these washed rocks, as we call them, the whitewash, this craziness is a great place to target snapper. It creates current that rips by these rocks. And so you throw it up in this craziness and there will a lot of times be snapper and yellowtail hunting in there looking for bait fish that have been disoriented by the crashing waves. And so you just flick your bait up in there and just let it tumble around in all this crazy current. And a lot of times it'll be coming out kind of slow off your, off your reel and then it'll start screaming. You close the bale and you're on. Got bait right below the boat. Those are blue mau mau's right below the boat. Oh, yep, I'm on. Uh. Oh, yep. Uh. Uh. Whoa. This is something pretty good. This is something pretty good. Frank just got sharked at the surface. Oh, man. Good Lord, I don't know. Oh, no. I feel the rocks. It's on the reef. Oh. Man, there was just no stopping it on this setup, I don't think. Oh. Yeah, I got some frayage. Pretty good ways up the leader. Man! Oh yeah, good one for Marty. The clouds burned off, sun came out. That tide turned and the bite seems to be heating up. Oh yeah. Woo. Great fish, bro. Yippa! That's for you, Mama Bear. Sweet. Pew! He said that one's for you, Brenda. We love you, Mom. <laughs> I love you, Brenda. He loves you in a different way. <laughs> it's just beautiful to watch. It's like mesmerizing. All the colors, the water turns as it gets churned up on these rocks. Dark blues and light blues and aquas and teals. Green mixed in, it's just just beautiful. Oh wow. That was a pretty good one. Yippa! <laughs> GoPro never does it justice, but that was a pretty big wave threatening to crash on me. This is uh, kind of a fish at your own risk type of spot. We don't typically recommend the clients do this, but it depends on your experience level, I guess. We get around here to the other side, see if there's any fish hunting basically down currents where they should be. So I'll cast my lure up and let it just kind of come back to me. I hate to put an end to what's been a brilliant trip with great people, but uh, it's about that time, sorry folks. Well folks, we are running out of time for this field trip down under. These trips are just incredible. I mean, whether it's the epic, dramatic landscape or the incredible wildlife encounters that we have out here, the fishing is off the charts. I mean, most days it is literally as many fish as you wanna catch. Most of us end up just taking a break from being so exhausted from reeling these things in this trip it's been non-stop action my biggest snapper about six times over tons of yellowtail kingfish but it's really just the combination of all these things this incredible place is what makes it worth coming out here and i'll tell you what i cannot wait to get back here and i haven't even left yet and the people that you meet along the way you know i mean whether it's the knowledgeable and and rock steady stephen tapp or the always friendly, always making you laugh and handling your every need, Skipper Aaron, or the always goofy, never serious, but actually quietly pretty good at fishing, 
Martin Gittins, the crew here is just incredible. They make the trip for every single client and the clients themselves, you know, the, we showed up here strangers and I'd say that we're all gonna leave here lifelong friends after one week. You just share these experiences together and uh, you just can't help but, but leave here friends. If you wanna come out here and do this with me, with Marty, with Steven, with Aaron, you can. Fishvillage.com has got all the information. Just look under Trip Central and click on the New Zealand Mothership Trips. It's got all the information you need to book a trip. Reach out to those guys and request my dates. We will be doing some trips where I'm not here, but I'll be coming back every year to do hopefully a handful of groups. So come on out, you guys. I promise you the trip of a lifetime, a trip you will never stop talking about. I mean, all the clients are raving about how incredible this trip is, and theirs actually got cut a little short. They got the short end of the stick when Cyclone Gabriel shaved a couple days off the front end of the trip, but we got out here and Instead of the five days we normally do, we got about three, three and a half, and uh, they all agree you catch enough fish here in three days for, for, for a normal five day trip. They're all exhausted, taking breaks. It's just been absolutely on fire, like it always is. So yeah, fishvillage.com guys, book a trip. Come out here and do this. Come out to New Zealand. I know it's on your bucket list. If it's not, you just have not been paying attention. Come on out here, I promise you. We're gonna have a good time. You're gonna go home with so many stories to tell. Phew! Ah, oh, my finger! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>